Wolves hosted Fulham in a Premier League 2 fixture at the new Bucks head, but it wasn't to be an enjoyable evening for Scott Sellers and his side as the Whites cruised to victory. It took just 14 minutes for Fulham to open the scoring, John Dagor Thornstein curling a strike beyond the reaches of Harry Burgoyne. The goalkeeper did get a touch, but it wasn't enough to keep the strike from nestling into the far corner. After falling behind, the hosts pressed for an equaliser. Daniel Armstrong was first denied by Luca Ashby Hammond before the keeper was on hand again to parry a free kick away from danger. Following the restart, Wolves' persistence paid off as Aaron Collins levelled proceedings with a superb strike, the home fans given reason to celebrate. The Welsh striker has been capped at youth level on the international stage and that goal showcased what he is capable of. The elation soon turned to frustration, however, as a late rally from the visitors saw them run away with it. Elijah Adebayo getting on the end of a Matt O'Reilly cross to head home from close range to put Fulham ahead on 83 minutes. That's now five league goals this season for the 19-year-old, who also found the net during a 3-3 draw with Portsmouth back in August during a Checker Trade Trophy clash. Thorne Steinson then doubled his personal tally by getting on the end of a rebound to fire an effort into the roof of the net. Burgoyne did well to divert Michael Alstone's initial effort onto the crossbar, but he could do nothing about the resulting strike which widened the margin to two goals. The scoring was complete during stoppage time as the Icelandic midfielder secured his hat-trick in style, delicately chipping over the goalkeeper after racing onto a through ball from Adebayo. It was an evening to forget for Wolves, but one to remember for Thorne Steinson, as Fulham secured a much-needed set of three points in fine fashion. First goal was like cut inside and shot, and second was a rebound, and third goal was like just one by one with the keeper. Good day for me and important to get three points for the team. And hopefully we can take something from this game into into Friday. It's been a difficult season for us. Haven't been getting any. We don't have a lot of, lots of points, but hopefully we can win on Friday as well. I was really, really pleased with all-round performance because it's been tough for our boys. We've had a lot of changes and a lot of injuries and whatever. Tonight we've ended up with three centre back, a four centre back, sorry, at the back, a young goalkeeper playing just through injuries and illnesses. So I'm really, really pleased with them. But I think. As I say, it was a very frenetic game at periods, but I thought when we retained control of it and passed the ball well, we looked a better side. And Talking about, you know, you defend his job really first and foremost, it's to keep clean sheets. Um, you know, we made errors and gave the ball away in bad areas that allowed them to counter-attack, especially in central areas, and, and they punished us really. Um, and again, yeah, uh, I thought their goals were too easy to score. I thought we had to work really hard to get our opportunities. I didn't think they had to work hard enough to get theirs, and they took theirs.